take a foam sheet and draw cute little Christmas diagrams on it. You can either draw a Christmas tree, a stocking, a candy cane, a gift box, or anything that you like. Once you're done with that, cut off the foam sheets and stick it on a cardboard. You finally created your stamps. Now take an old gift bag and cut the sides open and you can even cut off the handles. Apply some paint on the stamps and stamp away. You can create any pattern that you like in all the colors possible. Take a sharpie marker or a white pen to create a few designs on the print. So most of us have done finger painting back when we were in kindergarten or in first grade. So today we're going to do it again to make this string light wrapping paper. Take a black sharpie marker and draw a few squiggly lines across the paper. Create a few dents on the lines where you would like to show the light bulb. Dip your fingers in the paint and stamp away. In order to add a shiny element to the pattern, you can also use glitter to highlight the lines. Let it dry completely and you're done! In order to make this beautiful print, you'll need some white piece of paper, some really bright and colorful paint, and some thread. Cut a piece of the thread and dip it in the orange paint. Make sure the thread is completely covered with paint and remove the excess from it. Now place the thread on the piece of paper and fold it in half. Apply some pressure on the paper where the thread is placed and pull the string from one of the edges. Repeat the same technique with different colors and try to pull the thread from different edges of the paper in order to get a beautiful abstract print. Once you're satisfied with the print that you get, you're all set to wrap a perfect present. So the next one is super easy to make and all you'll need is some aluminum foil. Take some aluminum foil and cut a long piece of paper. Start crushing the foil from the center and go towards the edges. Now flip the paper on the reverse side, apply some glue and stick a thin piece of paper on it. This is literally all you have to do and you have a brand new piece of wrapping paper. This is one of my favorite wrapping papers from this tutorial. All you'll need is a thin piece of paper and start folding it as many times as you can. Take some photo ink and put a few drops in a tiny container filled with water. Put one of the corners in the first color and let it stay there for a few minutes and then remove all the excess water from it. Dip the other three corners of the paper in different colors and remove all the excess water from it. Let the paper 
or dry completely and then carefully open it up and iron it to make it flat. So we're already done making five wrapping papers and can't you tell they're super easy to make? So now I'm gonna show you five more and next up is the snowman print wrapping paper. Take a medium sized sponge, dip it into white paint and stamp along the paper. Now take a smaller sponge and make another circle right on top of the previous one. Take a sharpie marker to draw in all the details of the snowman. Last but not the least, take a white pen to draw some snow and snowflakes around the snowman and that's it! This one is the easiest of the lot. All you need to do is take a round sponge, dip it into glue and stamp all across the paper. Take some gold glitter and sprinkle it on top of the glue and let it dry in place. Remove all the excess glitter and you're done! So most of us have newspapers lying around our house every single day. So the next two wrapping papers are made with newspapers. Take a piece of newspaper and fold it in two halves. Create a diagonal fold at the corner of the paper. Now take a pair of scissors and cut tiny triangles on alternate sides. Apply a few dots of glue on the design and stick it on the base paper. You're all set to wrap a perfect present. Take a newspaper and use Sharpie markers to make beautiful designs all across it. Now take some tiny little stickers and stick it all across the paper. And this is literally all you have to do. You'll need some black paper, white paint and a used toilet paper cardboard roll to create circles on the paper. You can even use a smaller container to make tinier circles this does not need to be perfect, so have fun while doing this. Use the back end of a pencil to create some polka dots and use a flat sponge to create vertical lines. You can even crush some plastic paper to create an uneven texture. You can use a cap of a toothpaste in order to create the tiny circles on top of each ornament. Use a paintbrush to create vertical lines in order to connect each ornament to the top of the paper. I use this wrapping paper to wrap a Pringles box and I feel like it looked amazing. Enjoy this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you like these tutorials and if you want to watch more videos just like this, then click on these links here. Until next time, bye!